Hey guys, I had a few requests from a few friends to uh, do a PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 setup for Hyperspin. Now, some of you are going to say, hey, that's impossible. There's no, there's not even an emulator for that. You're full of shit, man. Um, well, yeah, there's no emulator, but you can actually use Chaki. Uh, Chaki is a streaming device that allows you to actually have a real PlayStation 5 or 4 and uh, just use a... Uh, use it to stream on any TV or even an arcade in this case. So create a module in Hyperspin, which is basically your PC launcher modified with a few uh, few things. I'll put it in the description if you want to try it. And it allows you to basically just uh, open your PlayStation 4 through Hyperspin and even control it uh, with these bad boys here. So any game that's like an arcade game with a uh, single stick, it's going to play just fine. So let me actually show you how it does run. Uh, so this is a two wheels I created, uh, PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4. Uh, let's go into start with the PlayStation 4 just for kicks. So here you have a wheel of a bunch of games. Um, so whatever game you actually load here doesn't really matter. It's only going to get into the UI. You can't basically call a game directly. Uh, but what you can do is basically just uh, click on this this is gonna call the interface the checky interface uh, the way I set it up is uh, you need to then select which one you're gonna use and this is hard coded for this module so when I press the start button here it's basically gonna load the PlayStation 4 because that's a wheel we're in uh, this was play, uh, Call of Duty 3 I believe uh, let's get out of this bad boy here so you, see, you guys see uh, I'm basically in the PlayStation 4 UI and this is basically running on a real PlayStation 4 that is uh, just standing uh, right about here so this is running through my network and then right over here the signal is making it through my arcade via that Shacky software uh, the PlayStation 4 is modified so if you guys want to see how to set that up I think there's a guy that's called uh, Modded uh, Warfare that does some really cool stuff He's got some uh, some tutorials on actually setting that up, but um, I'm going to show you how to actually do it for hyperspin and get to work on here. So as you see, this is regular interface uh, for a PlayStation 4. Now, if you get like an arcade game you want to try on here, uh, like let's say Gold Boy for instance, and just uh, kill that Call of Duty one. I'm still pretty sure that some of you guys will still say. Hey, this is an emulator, this is full of shit. Uh, this is just a uh, streaming device, dudes. <laughs> so, yeah, definitely possible. Okay, so, open this. Let's get into a quick gameplay. Takes a couple seconds, and there we go. You can actually control with your arcade board. So it's going to be as fast as your network is, uh, faster it is, better it is. You have a limit, of course, of whatever is on the PlayStation 5. I think it's one kilohertz cards. But if you have a good network, usually it's pretty quick. Uh, let's get out of this real quick and show you some something else. Uh, let's go with something that actually loads pretty quick. I think this should, should be okay. It's one of the days that take for ages to get into the gameplay. I never tried this one actually, so let's see how it looks. So for the marquee on top, uh, this is basically going to use whatever I stopped on the wheel. So but in this case, it's just a regular one. I don't have a ton of marquees for a PlayStation 4. I think we stopped on Bloodborne, and this just cycles to PlayStation 4 and then Bloodborne. out of this intro okay let's start a new game now, let's see what can skip let's find the right button to do it there we go let's see if we can oh okay the character is already there so I guess it should start pretty quick Okay. So what's cool about this is uh, you can also use a controller over here or you can use a stick over here. So 
Julie, uh, well, actually, this is probably a twin guy, so it's probably using the other one. So this will work. Not with this anyway, so no movement. This guy here, no problem. So some games definitely want something like this. Like I'd say like 80% of the games, this would be better. If it's like a straight arcade shooter or uh, something that basically is uh, just a, a regular one-stick game, like, uh, I don't know, uh, Streets of Rage or uh, uh, Virtual Fighter or something like that, go with this. Uh, otherwise, yeah, this will work. But uh, yeah. So you see, uh, pretty much the same thing as uh, the real machine. If your network is fast, it's definitely going to be a pretty good experience. And this works right through uh, hyperspin, which is pretty sweet. Let's get out of here. Uh, I'm actually going to close the emulator and go back. Well, not the emulator, sorry, <laughs> the stream, streaming device. Check. Okay. So again, just to show you guys, this is basically just going to open again the interface. Again, this says. Uh, bomb chicken, but it doesn't really matter. It's uh, just gonna open the interface again. Same thing it did before. Doesn't call the games directly, there's no way to do that. And uh, again, press the start, and then you're back in. Gonna switch out, basically go back to the UI and select whatever game you want. Uh, this is a modded console, so. Uh, you can basically do a bunch of cool stuff with this and I think you need to have it modded like I said before again modded warfare does this, uh, some real cool stuff with this anyway that's a PlayStation 4 uh, let's go back and uh, check how the PlayStation 5 does look okay let's get out of here PlayStation 5 give you an idea of how everything looks that wheel is very small compared to the PlayStation 4. Definitely not a ton of content. There we go. Okay, so PlayStation 5, great system, but if you have a PC, uh, most of those games are available. Uh, you have these games that are actually added. Some of them, like, well, this game is available on PC, but I had like Forspoken, which is not even released yet, but uh, God of War, again, that's a game that's available still on PlayStation 4. Uh, Ratchet and Clank, that's PlayStation 5 only, and you have like Returnal and stuff like that, but 99% is actually available on other consoles, but still cool to actually have uh, a wheel like this. So again, uh, this is a, a real PlayStation 5, just streaming via Checky. Whatever we open in here, still gonna load the, basically uh, the PlayStation 5 UI. So open this, take a few seconds, just let the interface come up. Again, same thing, now it's actually going to call the PlayStation 5 side. That. So that this needs to be configured, it's kind of a pain the uh, first time, but check that tutorial I said before and that uh, should help. So this is actually using, again, same controller as we had before. Is this is basically just uh, connected to a PC. And here we have, like, all Demon Souls uh, just running. And uh, so, again, <laughs> it's not going to be very useful with... Uh, with a one stick controller because basically you're just uh, going to be able to uh, think change menu which is not great <laughs> uh, so you can jump or whatever but yeah you definitely want this one of these guys uh, so let's get out of this game uh, let's see I think there's a uh, I think I have a virtual fighter 4 in here or 5 actually This is the kind of game that you definitely want to play with an arcade controller. And here again the marquee is uh, The Last of Us and that's just because... Uh, well, actually no, it's uh, yeah, The Last of Us and it has uh, that uh, general one for uh, PlayStation 5. So it just cycles between the game and the main wheel one. I think this is just going to load some tutorial, but it gives you an idea. Okay. 
this basically just plays like a regular arcade so if you have like games like this you want to play which are basically like true arcade games then yeah absolutely use a controller you can still use this guy over here that works just fine now let's get out of this game so it's basically the same thing both using Jackie uh, just have to configure PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5 and uh, just create two modules which I'll link in the description so you want to give us this a try but yeah uh, definitely something uh, something pretty uh, pretty cool to try out uh, another thing I actually said uh, this TV basically supports uh, the PlayStation Pass so if I or sorry not PlayStation Pass the Xbox Xbox Game Pass whatever it's called if I click on this give it a few seconds uh, this is going to use a TV's interface to actually uh, uh, load the uh, actual uh, Game Pass stuff. Or it should anyway. Okay, there we go. So that's going basically to the menus again it's cool to actually have it doesn't have its own wheel of course because it shows the actual TV interface figured I'd set that up uh, with an account uh, and this basically will stream just as, uh, as if you had like an Xbox or a PC actually because there's also a, an app for that I believe uh, so uh, just for fun let's try uh, uh, this game over here So this is cloud gaming, basically from Microsoft. So it's not going to use any PC or uh, any streaming device that you have locally. So it's uh, definitely a little bit different, but so cool to actually see. And of course, uh, this is still only going to work with something like this. No controllers or anything because it's just a TV and this basically is connected via Bluetooth to the uh, actual TV directly. And I have two network connections. Uh, one network connection that goes to my PC and one network connection that goes to the actual TV to, uh, to make this work. And there we go. It's uh, basically streaming. And again, this is just uh, the actual marquee that I left. Uh, it's still connected to Hyperspin. So this is just uh, taking over uh, that, uh, that connection. And uh, yeah, anyways. You guys uh, done probably a game pass and this is just a TV so it's nothing special but it's a little bit uh, different I've never seen this on an arcade <laughs> okay so uh, let's go back to uh, the actual uh, stream so I think I just need to uh, actually press on this bad boy here quit game and then get out of the streaming get back to uh, the actual PC and we should be back on track Great, this actually loads Netflix. <laughs> Let's go back to the PC there. Okay, back to the PlayStation we were before. Uh, let's get out of this. And uh, I'll just shut this down. And we're back in, in the interface. Okay, so this is kind of on the, the impossible systems that I have PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 streaming on, on an arcade. Let's get out of here, this guy. Uh, I'll just show you real quick. Uh, so essentially here we have the actual PlayStation 4 module which uses uh, the actual PC. So I'll link that again in the description. But this is what you would use uh, to actually call the, uh, uh, the actual PlayStation 4 or 5. This is Jackie. Uh, this is the interface I was talking about. This loads. Uh, connects basically to either device, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5 load it again small menu you see this is not a trick i'm not basically just switching 
uh, device on a TV or a real PlayStation 4. This is actually streaming and it's using that little uh, interface. It's, uh, I think it's a lot better than what, uh, whatever the place if Sony is actually using. But uh, anyway, I'll link that stuff in the description. If you guys have any, uh, any questions, I can answer them. But uh, anyway, that was it. Uh, you guys enjoy the rest of the evening. Thanks. Bye.